reasons you shouldn't have sex on the first date. And one of the reasons might surprise you. <laughs> reason number one. STDs. No, I'm just kidding. Well, no, not kidding. That, that's a good reason. But, uh, yeah. Reason number one. I'm. These are coming straight off the dome, by the way. I just had this conversation with my buddy. He's like an absolute or he's a reforming absolute playboy. And uh, we're, we just, <laughs> we literally spend 20 minutes every single time we see each other in the gym just like talking about like um, fucking how to reform the minds from dating and play and try to garner authentic relationships. He's the one who introduced the book that I highly recommend to you guys. It's called Models by Mark Manson. Mark Manson's the guy who made the book, The Art of, Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Uh, Models is a book about like authentic, how to live, how to find life partners authentically. It, it's a... It'll refrain a lot of the fucking toxic red pill beliefs that are like stuck so far up your anal cavity because that one bitch cheated on you. Anyways, <laughs> all right, coming straight off the dome. Um, reason number one, do you really want to put up with someone who will put out that fast? So in this day and age, hookup culture is extremely fucking prevalent, man. Extremely prevalent. You know what? Fuck this video. Fuck this video, bro. Let me just... Real quick, speed run it. Okay, do you really want to put up with somebody that's gonna put out? That's up to you. Is your choice. Sexual discipline is an extremely like impressive trait. Hookup culture. Do you really want to be with somebody who is just gonna give it away like that? That's up to you. Okay. Second reason, the invert of that. Do you really want to be the guy who gives it up that fast? Cause like you know, we always say like women are the gatekeepers of sex, um, which is like true to a lot of extent. But I think it's just much more attractive not only to women, but to yourself. A lot of self-value, if you're not gonna give it out like that. But let me just give you the, 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 let's just cut to the fucking chase. This is the one reason that me and my buddy really just like, we, we came together on, we were like, this is the one. This one is genius. This is, fuck all the other reasons. Fuck the STDs. Get tested. <coughs> Most important reason why you shouldn't have sex on the first date is because, and this is from personal experience from me and my buddy, it sets up this potential relationship that sex is such an important thing. I'm not saying sex is not important. It's very important for connection and all that. But like, let's throw away the games. Let's throw away the, the everything else. And let's just think about it like this. Okay. So, in previous relationships, almost all of them, except the ones when I was like a kid, that, that, that's fucked. I had sex on the first date. And that came from a huge place of neediness, a huge place of validation seeking, a huge place of wanting to fill um, an empty spot in my soul by feeling someone else's. Okay, whoa, shit. <laughs> but seriously, what, what, what the issue was, was because it's kind of like when you wake up in the morning and your brain is kind of like, you know, mush, numb to life. And whatever you feed it early in the morning is what it's gonna crave. So if you wake up and you scroll the shit out of your brain or you wake up and you watch a ton of porn, get a ton of cheap dopamine, it's gonna show your brain that it's gonna crave a lot more of that cheap dopamine throughout the day. So, if you wake up and you give your brain like, you know, uh, nuanced, more refined, natural dopamine, like making your bed first thing in the morning or giving yourself a healthy breakfast, Stuff like that. It's going to set up the day a lot better. You know, you wake up with gratitude. It's going to set up the day with, with gratitude. So whatever you set up the beginning of things with, it's gonna, it's a lot easier for that to continue. In these relationships, I'd have sex on the first date. And then it would make the relationship so much about sex. That I would be clouded and I wouldn't even like enjoy the person for who they are. Yeah, like later down the relationship, I'd just be chasing the sex. It'd be like, that would be the routine. We go out for dinner and stuff and I need, like in my head, because, you know, you guys think, oh, only girls want sex for connections. No, bro, no, no, no. Here's a great thing to take away. I think a lot of girls won't have sex until they feel connected, but most guys get connection through sex. So if anything, more guys get connected through sex, meaning if you set up the beginning of the relationship, sex on the first date in your primitive male brain you're gonna be like wow that was such a good connection with this person subconsciously at least you'll think this that you're like I'm gonna yearn for this connection every single time or at least that's what I did and eventually 
when like let's say she's tired or whatever this or that like it didn't happen i'd feel so insecure i feel so insecure because like what's going on like this is the crux of our relationship whereas if or instead let's say you started off the relationship as like getting to know the person actually liking their personality being friends with them and then introducing the sex when you guys are ready later you're gonna like this person for who they are so much more. You're gonna be able to be so much more authentic. You're not gonna have to play this game. Cause the thing is like, if you're having sex on the first date, most likely what I was doing, playing this whole fucking game where I talk to them like this and say this and do this and like get them comfortable and all this, bring them back to the house and blah, 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 blah. Now you're gonna be like, I have to get this every single time to get that connection. And that's how it was for my past relationships to a point where, no, I'm not gonna lie to you, after like the honeymoon phase of the relationship, we weren't having sex as much for a little short period. And I was freaking the fuck out. I was like, yo, am I ugly? Like, what's this? I'm not a man. All this bad feelings. Whereas if like, let's say you set it up with no sex on the first date, you wait a little bit until you actually get to know the person, until you actually feel ready. And then when things get tough in the relationship, because like no chicks are going to want to have sex with you when they feel fucking sad or like some tough shit's going through life. That's not the connection. That's not the first thing you think of when you think of connection with them. You're going to be able to have conversation with them and enjoy them as a person. And then later you get to, yeah. Bada boom, bada bing, don't bang on the first date. That's the lesson. Love you, boys. Bye.